Whilst the picture shows the single-sided toolmaker's clam, my comments that follow are equally applicable to both types. Unlike most clamps, G-clamps for example, securing a toolmaker's clamp is a far more involved and critical process. In this first setting we see that the clamp pivots at its end indicating that the jaws at the center screw are too far apart. In the second setting, the opposite is the case, as the clamp pivots close to the center screw, this indicating that the jaws are too close. The method of setting up the clamp from this point is to make small adjustments, opening up the jaws a little at a time, doing this using the center screw until the clamp only pivots close to the center screw, but now needing a little force to achieve this. The process from here is to finally secure the clamp using the end screw only. This should be considered the only way of using these clamps in all situations, but is absolutely essential when used to secure workpieces, say on an angle plate or a milling or drilling machine. Here, vibration may loosen the clamp's grip with serious consequences. Some will say that the toolmaker's clamp should not be used on a milling machine. But if the above method is applied carefully, I see no reason for not using them. However, as is almost always the case on the milling machine, do not rely on a single clamp. Now for an application where the single-sided clamp is very useful.